Hi guys, today I'd like to show you a quick demo of how Office Telemetry works. Um, this product by Microsoft is built into Office 2013 and 2016. Uh, it's a good dashboard view of how your Office applications are being used within your organization and also helps assess compatibility issues of Office solutions. So if you're looking to deploy to a new version of Office, you should leverage this tool. Now, for the purpose of this demo, I have an Active Directory server where I will show you what I've configured with respect to GPO policies for the uh, telemetry agent, as well as the telemetry processor server, which is running Windows Server 2012, and our agent computer, which is just a Windows 10 um, end user machine. So let's uh, get started. Now, the first step is to install the Office 2013 administrative template files. This can be downloaded from this link, and I'll provide this in the description below for you. Now, you should install these files on your domain controller so that you have access to additional settings, as you can see here, which allow you to configure the telemetry agent using GPO. You can also configure this through registry, but that would require you to apply the registry to each and every machine within your organization. So it's much easier to do, that, do it this way, and it also works more effectively. So this is found under, once installed, this would be found under user configuration, administrative templates, Office 2013, and telemetry dashboard. And here are some of the settings that we can configure. So we should, should enable the data collection because we definitely need to collect data for um, our office agents. We should also turn on data uploading for the agents within our organization. And we should also specify the shared folder where the office telemetry data it will be saved. In this case, it's our telemetry processor server within this shared folder. So this is all set up for us, um, and these are the settings that you will need to configure within your organization as well. So let's go to the telemetry processor server next. And the first thing you wanna do here is install Office 2013 or Office 365 Pro Plus 2013. This will give you access to the telemetry dashboard, which, is, which can be found here. Now, it's important to note that you should use Office 2013 if your organization has Office 2010 or older. It just seems to work better for me than Office 2016 telemetry did. Um, I don't know if there's a bug with Office 2016, but I would opt for Office 2013 to discover your legacy applications. So this uh, guide um, gives you an overview of how this works. We're gonna skip through it and click on Let's Get Started. So the first step is to install SQL Server, which has been completed here um, for the purpose of this demo. You also have the option of using a separate SQL Server if you have one, and that is recommended for production environments. The second step is to install the processor, which is also done, and it's a quick install. You should opt for the 64-bit version if your server is running 64-bit. And then the third step is to deploy the agent, which I'll show you, and configure the agent, which has been done. So we've done the configuration aspect via GPO, and we've downloaded the template files. And then the last step is to connect to your database to view the actual data. So um, now that SQL has been installed and the processor, we can go through the setup of the processor. So this is the setup screen for the Office telemetry processor. And here you need to 
indicate or create a ser SQL Server database to store the Office telemetry data, as well as specify shared folder, which has been referenced earlier through the GPO. So let's click on next here. And what we want to do is connect to our SQL Server um, Express instance, in this case, it's that. And I'll go ahead and create a database. And I'll give it that name. So all we need to do is click on connect and call it telemetry office. Create the database. does take a moment to create. Now it's going to ask here, database permissions and the database role must be configured. Do you want the database to be configured? Yes. Great. The next section is to specify the shared folder. In this case, I can browse to it, browse to the C drive, and specify the folder that I created for the uh, data collection. So I can specify it as such. And what this will do is automatically share the folder if it hasn't been shared to authenticated users. So authenticated users must have permission, read, write access to this folder. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, click next. And we've successfully completed the Office Telemetry Processor Wizard. Um, so that's all there is to it with regards to the processor configuration. Our next step is to go to the agent and install it, or agent computer and install the telemetry agent. You may want to use um, SCCM for this or GPO scripts or however your organization uh, deploys um, applications. But for this demo, I will go ahead and install it manually. So let's connect to the agent computer. And this is running Windows 10 with Office 2010, which is considered legacy. Most organizations now are looking to upgrade uh, their Office 2007 or even 2010 to 2013 slash 2016. 2016 in most cases is the upgrade route. Okay. So I'm just gonna verify here that I have Office installed and I believe I do. Great. I don't have the agent though. So what we need to do is copy the agent across to this server, which it is here, and install the 64-bit version. The 64-bit agent version must be installed because we have a 64-bit OS, and that's very important. So let's go ahead and install the agent. It's a rather quick install and it's done. Now, a question you may ask is, how do you validate that the install was successful? You can check by going to Task Scheduler. Now, Task Scheduler will show you two additional tasks that are created for this purpose. If I just navigate to the Office folder here, we can see that we have a logon task that runs and a fallback task. So this task will run at logon and trigger the co data collection um, and then upload or sync every eight hours indefinitely. And this will be a backup task for that, but then a run every 12 hours indefinitely. So these both are background processes um, and they are required for this to work. Now, for the purpose of this demo, <clears throat> what we want to do is collect data. And I can demonstrate that simply by, um, let's try opening Excel. 
2010. I'll go ahead and create a test file here. Place it on my desktop. <clears throat> So the agent is actively running right now. It is monitoring each and everything I do with respect to Office. However, the agent collection or upload will not run until I log on to the um, computer. And, and this will actually run automatically once I log back in. So let's log out. And let's log back into the agent computer. Once we're logged in to the agent, we can see that the logon task for the office telemetry has ran at logon successfully. So this means our data should now be reported back to our telemetry processor server. So if we go ahead and connect to the database, which has already been done, and refresh the, uh, the screen, we can see that it has detected the Office 2010 64-bit deployment on that corresponding machine. I can even go into the Solutions tab and see some of the add-ins that are enabled um, with this user. I can even double-click on this and determine what the computer name is, their office version, the user, as well as the location of the office installation. So it's a very powerful tool, as you can see, and it works once it's set up. Um, there is a bit of configuration. There are a few gotchas that you do encounter, but once it's set up, it's pretty seamless for the most part. Also, I do want to note one additional setting that may need to happen in your test environment. If I go back to the agent machine, I did create two additional registry keys. Um, since this is a Windows 10 uh, machine, I created two registry keys called agent initialize wait and agent random delay. And this will help me trigger data collection manually and see data uploaded immediately to the dashboard. So typically how this works is when a user logs into an office client, the agent waits 10 minutes to allow other logon processes to be completed and then waits a randomized number of minutes up to four hours to avoid client computers sending data to the network at the same time. So after this initial scan, it then continues to run every eight hours indefinitely or 12 hours with the backup task. So uh, this is pretty much it in a nutshell. I do wanna also emphasize that um, in order to set this up or configure the agent properly, you must install the administrative templates in your Active Directory or Domain Controller server and configure the settings in the GPO policy. So you're gonna to wanna to use the group policy management editor to ensure that under user configuration, admin templates, um, Microsoft Office 2013, and finally, telemetry dashboard, these options are configured. Once they are, you should be in a good position to deploy the agents across your organization. Um, you could now, in terms of the deployment, you can use um, SCCM. Um, what we did in this case with the client is create an application package within SCCM using a PowerShell wrapper. Um, and this allows us to deploy the agents to only computers that are running legacy office versions. And now that's the whole purpose of this tool is to report upon data that is actively being used amongst users that have Office 20, uh, yeah, Office 2003, Office 2007, even Office 2010, and report data back that you can take back and analyze and inspect further by using the telemetry dashboard in Excel. Um, now, do keep in mind, deploying the agent from Office 2016 will not detect Office 2010 data. 
that could be a bug. I will report it to Microsoft. Now, if you have Outlook 2010 or Office 2010, use the agent from Office 2013 like I did in this demo. Um, if you want to use uh, uh, reporting for Office 2016, um, I don't see why you would do that. But if you do need to do that, you would have to use the Office 2016 telemetry agent and processor. It's good to keep things consistent between the agent and processor. So please do keep that in mind. Also, I also want to emphasize that um, in order to gather data, so this is back to my client machine, in order to gather data um, for telemetry, you, there needs to be some usage. So users need to open documents, save documents, that's the only way this can happen. Um, so that data is gathered for you to analyze and inspect when they are uh, uh, refreshed within the dashboard uh, Excel spreadsheet. So um, thanks all for your time. Uh, that should be it for this session. There'll be additional uh, sessions in the future with regards to Microsoft products. And uh, feel free to comment or uh, like below. Thanks so much.